Hello everyone, this is Lollipop Boy one mle here for another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And this time I am doing a new project called the American Girl Historical MB Forever at Hogwarts. Now you'll probably be typing in the comments right now, Emily, if you're going to put American Girl characters in the Wizarding World, shouldn't you be putting them in Ilvermorny and sorting them into their Ilvermorny houses? Well, yes, you are true. And also I can hear you typing saying, you don't do doll videos anymore. You haven't done them since 2012. Well, that's also true. But American Girl has a special place in my heart and I always loved historical character, the historical character line. So I'm kicking this off with Kaya or Kaya Antemite, her full name. And she is a Nez Perce um, Native American and the first in the timeline. So her stories take place in 1764, 1765, and she was released in 2002. And that's another thing with this project. I'm doing all the characters that were released between 1986 till now. And with Kaya, she was the first Native American character to be released by American Girl. And she is, she, her sorting process was a little bit tricky, though, to say the least. Like, as I looked on the wiki page about her, she is adventurous, resourceful, caring, ambitious, values courage, all that shiz, nizzles, she loves animals, she loves her family. So I sort her into Gryffindor, but Slytherin could have also been a fit for her, too. But with her Hogwarts uniform, I decided not to go for the traditional Hogwarts uniform and I decided to take inspiration from her jingle dress of today that was released in 2002 and retired in 2007. So you will see in the coloring process that I did like some coloring phases for this. But anyways, back on to Kaya. Kaya was the first um, American Girl character to have a face mold where she isn't having a toothy grin because that's usually a lot of Native Americans don't show their teeth. And with the hair, like her hair is jet black and a lot of artists have like a, like a lot of difficulties doing anyone with black hair, you would have to do with gray or brown or orange tones or blue tones. So I chose blue tones for Kaya's hair. And plus that's what Kaya, color scheme is hers is a pale blue and Kaya is like me now you don't know this I am part Native American myself yes you'll probably be saying Emily you're white you're white as a ghost yes I am white but I'm Native American I I'm proud to say I'm American I'm American I'm Native American from my dad's side of the family. Dad's, my dad's maternal, paternal side. My dad's mother's father's side. And we're Cheyenne Indians, not Nez Perce, like Kaya is. And for me, I have read her first book, but I haven't, I had to like look at her wiki page for her characteristics and how she was in the stories. And also another purpose of this project is that I had to age them up a little bit from age 9 and 10 to about 15, 16 because I am, that's how I roll. And I'm also going to be doing some of the supporting characters as well, as in like some of the family members, their family members, their friends, even if they don't have dolls of their, have, have a doll with them or, and some of the male characters that were in their stories the main the main supporting characters at least so with Kaya's jingle dress of today Hogwarts uniform I did red trimming for her tie I put some gold in there her top of her dress is light gray and for two-thirds of her skirt minus the red ruffles fabric ruffles I originally wanted to do it a salmon color as you will see in a bit after see I wanted to do like a bright red or a salmon but then I went with a dark gray because 
Um, I wanted to reflect that this is her Hogwarts uniform, even though it's not the traditional uniform, but it's still Hogwarts enough for me, and it's still um, reminiscent of her um, uh, Native American roots. So I gave her moccasins, not Mary Jane's, and the bottom part of her skirt, aside from the ruffles, is um, salmon pink, and I get I turned her shawl into a cloak, which is black with red lining, and the pose I did in the sketching that you saw earlier, I made it so that she looks like she was about to cast a spell. Like her leg is lifted a little bit, and that's why her skirt's moving a little bit in there like you know an action pose and I had a lot of fun doing the tassels here they were a lot of fun I had I varied between reds and gold color golden rock colors in the scheme of Gryffindor um color scheme and let's see what else did I do oh with Native Americans in the wizarding world they had they played a part in the beginning of ilva morning and also they are particularly good with wandless magic and when i learned about it um wands were a european invention rather than american so that's what i did here i made her um like a she's like good at casting both wand and wandless magic so by the way the final piece is on my deviant art page this is it for the video i am lollipop 81 mle be sure to subscribe and follow me on social medias down below please subscribe and like this video peace out